the best portion of a good man's life, his little, nameless unremembered acts of kindness and love. Habit rules the unreflecting herd. There is a comfort in the strength of love, twill make a thing endurable, which else would overset the brain, or break the heart. For I have learned to look on nature, not as in the hour of thoughtless youth, but hearing oftentimes the still, sad music of humanity. Be mild, and cleave to gentle things, thy glory and thy happiness be there. Delight in liberty, the simple creed of childhood. Love betters what is best. What we have loved others will love and we will teach them how. Poetry is the first and last of all knowledge, it is as immortal as the heart of man. The good die first, and they whose hearts are dry as summer dust, burn to the socket. And yet the wiser mind mourns less for what age takes away than what it leaves behind. Wisdom is oftimes nearer when we stoop than when we soar. Poetry is the breath and finer spirit of knowledge. Pictures deface walls more often than they decorate them. Faith is a passionate intuition. Thanks to the human heart by which we live, thanks to its tenderness, its joys, and its fears, to me the meanest flower that blows can give thoughts that do often lie too deep for tears. In ourselves our safety must be sought. By our own right hand it must be wrought. From the body of one guilty deed a thousand ghostly fears and haunting thoughts proceed. The world is too much with us, late and soon, getting and spending, we lay waste our powers, little we see in nature that is ours, we have given our hearts away, a sordid boon. To begin, begin. Poetry is the image of man and nature. Though inland far we be, our souls have sight of that immortal sea which brought us hither. Rest and be thankful. Getting and spending, we lay waste our powers, but like lemmings running headlong to the sea, we are oblivious. Society has parted man from man, neglectful of the universal heart. A cheerful life is what the muses love, a soaring spirit is their prime delight. He is by nature led to peace so perfect that the young behold with envy, what the old man hardly feels. Though nothing will bring back the hour of splendor in the grass, of glory in the flower, we will grieve not, rather find strength in what remains behind. Strongest minds are often those whom the noisy world hears the least. The flower that smells the sweetest is shy and lowly. How many undervalue the power of simplicity? But it is the real key to the heart. All that we behold is full of blessings. Fill your paper with the breathings of your heart. Come grow old with me. The best is yet to be. Life is divided into three terms, that which was, which is, and which will be. Let us learn from the past to profit by the present, and from the present, to live better in the future. Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, it takes its origin from emotion recollected in tranquility. Come forth into the light of things, let nature be your teacher. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky, so was it when my life began, so is it now I am a man. Dreams, books, are each a world, and books, we know, are a substantial world, both pure and good, 
round these, with tendrils strong as flesh and blood, our pastime and our happiness will grow. Within I made quiet by the power of harmony, and the deep power of joy, we see into the life of things.